Hello and welcome to another Two View Properties video tour. Today we're at 7 Morland Road uh, at this really nice 10 bedroom house. Uh, so yeah, let's go have a look inside. So first things first, um, this house is one of those houses with just a ton of rooms in it. Uh, like I said, it's 10 bedrooms. Is there a, a light here somewhere? There we go. That's 10 bedrooms. It's got, if I can remember correctly, three bathrooms and a shower room, two kitchens and a kitchen space too. So there's loads of room, loads of rooms and loads of room. Um, so yeah, first room here is the living room. Um, it's the only living room of the property despite there being loads of uh, other rooms. Uh, but again, it is, well it's a 10 bed house so it's got to be pretty big and this room is massive. Uh, really high ceilings, loads of windows out front so there's loads of light coming in. Four sofas here, obviously a table, you could just store things or dine there I guess and obviously a warm out of TV but yeah uh, this kind of sets the the tone of the house just big and grand so from here we have the first kitchen straight through here again this on its own wouldn't be enough for 10 people but obviously like I said there's two kitchens and a kitchen space as well so this is a third of the kitchen space you're gonna get um, and again it's a decent size it's nice and modern lots of light coming in um, Lots of light coming from, from up there, I guess. Um, nothing worse than sort of weak LEDs. But those are pretty good. And then we have one of the bedrooms too. Here, and like I said, uh, it's just pretty massive. Um, yeah, got a nice uh, sort of nice view across to the other street. Uh, old fireplace there, giving it a bit of character. But I feel like we're off to a good start. I'm just a really big fan of this house, basically. Now, down here is the basement floor. And there's a couple of bedrooms down here. I'll just pop the light on. So, one of the bedrooms here. Uh, again, despite it being a basement, loads of light coming in through here. It's sort of like a half basement, half ground floor. Um, not a big fan of the basement rooms with a tiny window, but so this obviously just isn't one of them. Again, massive uh, old fireplace, closet. So there's loads of space there. Now we have, that is just kind of cellar space. I don't think you really need to see that. Uh, I don't know, additional storage, whatever. Um, shower with sink. So I'll just half close the door on myself so you can have a look around. Nice and modern. And then we also have shower, sink, and toilet. That is the wrong light switch. There we go. Shower, sink, and toilet. Again, modern, uh, pretty fresh. And then have another bedroom here. Um, okay, it's just really nice. Um, and then we have an ensuite here. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a sort of weird layout with the bathrooms, um, but there's plenty of them, so it's not a big deal. Um, again, plenty of space here. So sorry if the video seems a bit quick. I just want to make sure I get all the rooms without the video being hot for now long because it's one of those houses that easily could be. All right, let's pop back up here. Go back to the ground floor, and then we'll go to the first floor. A bit of a jog on. Right, so, bedroom immediately on the right. Here we are. Again, it's pretty grand. Lots of light, not really much else to, uh, to talk about. Another bedroom across here. Arguably my favorite bedroom of the house, because like all the others, it's huge, um, but it's got the massive windows that face uh, Hyde Park itself. I should have probably spoken about the area, but Moreland Road um, backs onto Hyde Park, so that across the road is Hyde Park itself. So if you're a big fan of sort of nature and the hustle and bustle of Student life, uh, perfect location for that. Then we have uh, another kitchen here. So this is the, the second kitchen, similar to the one downstairs. Uh, again, two fridge freezers, washer dryer, and then all the other cupboard space and such. I think dividing kitchens works best. People sort of cook in different ways. Some people are messy, some people are tidy, whatever. Um, and then this is, if I'm correct, the smallest bedroom in the house. Uh, but by no means is it small, it's definitely a decent size. Um, yeah, so and then on this floor as well, 
we have the shower that's here and we have the toilet. Again, it's all modern, it's all uh, very nice. Uh, so we've got four bedrooms to go on the second floor here. So again, not quite a kitchen, but a kitchen space. Uh, ignore these lights. Yeah, again, you don't have a washer, dryer, fridge or whatever, but you've got cupboard space and sink or whatever. So if you want to make a quick meal, you don't have to go downstairs in the night. And again, it just saves space. Even if you don't want to use it, you could just store things in it. It keeps your rooms tidy. And then we have the four bedrooms. So here's the first one. Nice little skylight there, letting in a decent amount of light. Uh, slanted uh, ceiling with a nice cosy feel. Another bedroom here. Does the light work? Yes. Slightly bigger than the uh, one just over there, slightly bigger skylight too. But again, just a really, um, really decent sized room. And then, second to last room here. Got a, uh, a strip light instead, which I'm uh, not sure is working at the moment. Um, this bedroom is quite, quite cool because it's got the little alcove bit where the bed is, which is pretty cool. Um, kind of adds a bit of separation, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice and cosy. And then finally, we have the last bedroom here. And that is the wrong light switch, I'm not very good at this. There we go, another strip light. And again, this one's got a bit of an alcove there as well uh, to add to the coziness um, but yeah uh, that's that's all of them so just to finalize this is seven Moreland Road it's a really epic ten bedroom two and a half kitchen three and a half bathroom house uh, so to find out a bit more about this property or the other properties we have we go from two three beds all the way up to twelve beds head over to the two view properties website facebook page or just pop into the office and have a chat with us it might be easier uh, and check out some of the other video tours and photos that we have you are likely to find something that takes your fancy. Uh, yeah, that's about it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.